Today I'm diving into a topic that for many of us holds far more significance than we might realize, our gut microbiome. Think about this for a second. Inside your body, there's an entire ecosystem, an invisible universe of microorganisms that play a critical role in how you feel, how your body processes food, and even how your immune system functions. It's like the hidden control room of our bodies, making decisions on digestion, inflammation, and more. But here's the question. How much do you actually know about the microorganisms living in you? Are you ready to revolutionize your health and reconnect to your primal self? Welcome to the Primal Shift Podcast. My goal with the Primal Shift Podcast is to show you how to achieve optimal health, and that includes the health of your body's largest organ, your skin. Today's sponsor, OneSkin, has a line of topical supplements powered by the OS01 peptide. It's the first ingredient scientifically proven to reduce the accumulation of senescent cells. That's one of the hallmark signs of aging. And for a limited time, my listeners will get 15% off their first OneSkin purchase with code MCOMER at oneskin.co. That's O-N-E-S-K-I-N dot C-O. And now back to the episode. That's where things get interesting. I recently used a platform called Jonah, an AI-powered analytics platform that doesn't just give you basic data on your gut microbiome. It uses all available scientific research to provide unique, actionable insights into your gut microbiome. And I'm excited to share with you my experience with it. So what makes Jonah different? Well, Traditionally, microbiome tests tend to be limited. They give you a surface level view, listing a few microorganisms, throwing in some generic recommendations like eat more fiber and calling it a day. But Jonah does much more than that. It's a platform powered by artificial intelligence trained on an expansive library on scientific research about the human gut microbiome. This allows it to give you insights that are much more aligned with your personal lifestyle and health status. For example, Jonah doesn't just tell you what's in your gut. It connects those findings with current research, showing you what certain microorganisms are known to do and how they could be impacting your health. It goes deeper than recommending dietary changes. It equips you with the knowledge to make decisions whether or not you follow traditional dietary advice. And that's a big advantage over most of the testing kits out there. So what did Jonah find in my gut? Let's dig in and find out. Now, according to my results, I have 246 different microorganisms living in my gut. Some of them are in incredibly high abundance, like, you know, 90 plus percentile of a quote unquote healthy population. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, well, is that normal? Well, everyone's gut microbiome is unique. But here is what's fascinating. Among those microorganisms was one pathogen Clostridium perfringens. Now, this is a bacteria that can cause issues, gut issues in particular, especially in higher amounts. But here is the kicker. It hasn't caused any issues for me. And that's likely because it's just reflecting my microbiome, meaning the environment that I live in. And since I raise livestock and I'm around animals a lot, and you know, I get some of their germs into my mouth and my microbiome, um, you know, those kind of pathogens show up. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong with it. I don't have any symptoms whatsoever. And I actually talked to Jonah's chief medical officer and he said, well, you know, uh, that type of bacteria um, is found in livestock and in the amounts that I have it in my gut, if I don't have any issues, you know, or any, any symptoms, I should say, then it's not an issue. It's simply a reflection of the environment that I live in. And, you know, that's something Jonah helps you understand. It gives you context to your results and it even links out to relevant studies so you can learn more and have a more fruitful discussion with your healthcare provider if necessary. You know, if there is something, you know, wrong, if you have already symptoms, if you have already diagnosed conditions and Jonah kind of maps them together and provides a a link between your microbiome and those conditions, then you can take that back to your healthcare professional and say, hey, you know, this is what we found, you know, what can we do to maybe support the healing process? Another interesting finding, the only probiotics in my gut are from fermented dairy products like kefir and cheese. 
And this again aligns with my diet, which is largely animal based uh, and supports the idea that what I eat directly impacts the composition of my gut flora. You know, I don't eat a whole lot of plants and quote unquote probiotics to feed the good bacteria in my gut. And so as a result, you don't find any of those probiotics or most of those probiotics in my gut either. Now, here is where it gets really exciting. You know, many of the microorganisms that are in high abundance in my gut have anti-inflammatory properties. And so this might explain why my inflammatory markers are so low. Specifically, my CRP is always below 0.3. That's incredibly low. And it's likely thanks to these microorganisms working behind the scenes to keep inflammation at bay. And it's one of those times where the science really lines up with how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know, what the markers in my blood show as well. Now, one of the findings from the Jonah analysis was that I lack a lot of the plant uh, fiber digesting bacteria that are typically found in people who consume more fiber. And this is again, a reflection of my diet, which is relatively low in plant matter. It's something I've always known, but seeing it laid out in scientific terms really drives home the idea that your microbiome is a mirror of your not only a dietary lifestyle, but really the environment that you live in. And there is a lot of control you have over it. So you can make changes and, you know, see how that impacts your, the composition of your gut flora by taking those tests, not once, but maybe every once a year or once every six months to kind of see how you can shift that composition to your benefit. Now, first, uh, my gut microbiome is a direct reflection of the environment and diet, right? Raising livestock, being outdoors, having dirty hands all the time and following an animal-based diet have shaped what microorganisms thrive in my gut. And it's fascinating to see that connection so clearly. Second, even though I consume dairy, I am not particularly good at digesting lactose. And this was something I suspected because I do very, very well with fermented dairy like kefir, but less well, I feel some mild discomfort when I just drink milk, even if it's raw milk. And Jonah confirmed that by, you know, telling me very clearly that I don't have a whole lot of lactose digesting and metabolizing bacteria in my gut. And that's likely why I have some symptoms when I consume raw dairy, for example, or just dairy that's not been fermented first. And finally, Jonah is an excellent tool for understanding the composition of your microbiome and its potential effects on your health. You know, it's not a medical diagnosis by any uh, means, but it's a powerful resource to consider when thinking about potential interventions like dietary changes. And this is especially valuable for anyone who suffers from specific health conditions or is just looking to optimize their gut health. Now, with Jonah, you can fill out a survey before or, you know, while you're waiting, while you wait for the test results, you know, you can already tell Jonah if you have certain conditions, if there are certain symptoms, um, like, you know, if you have a lot of anxiety, if a lot of stress, you know, I just selected a lot of the things that I sometimes feel, you know, sometimes I'm stressed, obviously, sometimes I feel anxious, sometimes I'm bloated especially when I eat things that I'm not supposed to, you know, so nothing really surprising, nothing really um, that I suffer from on a consistent basis, but I just throw everything, you know, in that could potentially be going on to kind of see how Chona responds and how it correlates those symptoms, those self-reported symptoms with the composition of my gut and what recommendations it would give me to, you know, potentially fix those or mitigate those issues if there were something that I, you know, that I was suffering from on a daily basis, which fortunately I'm not. And, you know, as with any AI powered platform, there are areas where I didn't completely agree with Jonah's recommendations. For example, since I follow a, an animal based diet, some of the suggestions like, you know, adding more kale to my diet didn't really quite fit. Um, however, I spoke with Jonah's founder and, uh, and he mentioned that they are planning to implement the ability to take dietary preferences into account. So in the future, people like me who prefer an animal-based lifestyle won't be getting generic plant-based advice. And it's also important to understand is that, you know, if Jonah tells you, hey, you know, eat more kale, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, eating kale is good. It just means that based on the scientific evidence, based on 
observational studies in some cases, in some cases clinical trials, it's really a combination of both. And you have to really look at the, the linked scientific evidence to understand how strong it is. I mean, Jonah gives an indication, it tells you how strong the scientific evidence is for a specific recommendation, for a specific correlation. So you can tell if it's a very weak evidence, if there is emerging evidence, if there is fairly strong evidence. Um, and, you know, take this into account. But the bottom line here really is that, you know, if Jonah recommends eating more kale, it might be because there are studies out there that show, you know, for those who eat higher amounts of kale, have a different or a more beneficial maybe microbiome composition. And so you can kind of, you know, assess that recommendation and see if it makes sense for you. But going forward, I'm super excited. If I can tell Chono, you know, hi, I'm on an animal-based diet, you know, instead of recommending me, you know, eat more kale, maybe, you know, maybe it says eat more liver, you know, uh, which in my opinion would be the better recommendation for everyone. But of course, if you're on a plant-based diet, you know, the liver recommendation wouldn't really work for you. So having that context, I think is a really, a really good idea. To wrap things up, I highly recommend Chono for anyone who wants to get a deeper understanding of their gut microbiome. It provides insights that go beyond what traditional tests offer and connect those findings to the latest research, empowering you to make decisions based on, on real science and on obviously how you feel and what makes most sense to you. Now, if you're curious about what's living inside you, this might be the tool to try. If you do, make sure you use code MICHAEL50, that's M-I-C-H-A-E-L-5-0, to get $50 off the MSRP, which is, as of this recording, 485. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. If you found this interesting, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more in-depth dives into health, nutrition, and the latest scientific tools we have at our disposal. Until next time. Next week on the Primal Shift podcast, Michael Kummer is joined by Hannah Wendt, Director of Operations at True Diagnostic, for a deep dive into the groundbreaking science of epigenetics. In this enlightening episode, they explore how your lifestyle choices shape your biological age far beyond what your genetics alone can determine. Hannah explains the fascinating technology behind biological age testing and reveals how understanding your epigenetics could be the key to slowing down or even reversing the aging process. Whether you're looking to optimize your health or simply curious about the future of longevity science, this is an episode you won't want to miss. Join us for episode 62, where the secrets to aging well are uncovered.